What's going on, everybody? Gentleman94 here. Welcome back to episode number two here on the Twin Brit Group Build. This is the Bristol Bow Fighter 148 scale by Tamiya, and I'm super excited to go ahead and crack into this thing and get some plastic and glue together. So let's go ahead and pull out our instructions and let us start and see what we have in store. Now, I figure I have about six weeks before this thing is due. So I'm hoping I can go ahead and push through, get as much done per episode as possible, and get to that weathering stage on that final paint job. That's going to be, I think, really one of the challenging parts of this build is going to be that paint job. So let's go ahead and move on today. I want to work on the cockpit, get most of that built and painted. I also want to move on to the interior of the fuselage, install what we need to install, paint what we need to paint, and move along with it. So without further ado, guys, let us go ahead and start assembling this cockpit tub and see what we can do. Can't wait. Let's do this. All right, cockpit is looking pretty decent. I went ahead and dry fitted it here into the side of the fuselage. And yeah, it looks great. I love it. There's some small recesses where the bulkheads fit into the side of the fuselage and they all fit and they all line up. It looks fantastic. Now all the interior colors have to be that uh, RAF cockpit green, which looks similar to this. Now this is actually labeled RAF green for the cockpit. And I actually used this for my Seafire that I built years and years and years ago. So this is actually still pretty decent. It's very similar to this here, which is, I guess, what they refer to as light green. I don't know if it really is the same. I might just be using the same color as a base. I don't know. I may have custom mixed this. I'm not sure. But it looks close enough that we can go ahead and airbrush this and it should be decent enough. Now, before we do that, I wanted to show you guys something kind of cool. This is a reference photo here of a resin insert that I found. They have super detailed this, of course, which I'm not going to do because, well, there's no point. You can't see anything in there anyway. But look at these cool handles. I want to go ahead and scratch build these handles. And I've stretched some sprue and cut it down to a smaller size. And we're going to use this to just kind of glue in there. Now, will it be visible? Hmm, I don't know. It might be. It depends. But at least I'll know what's there. So with my tweezers, I'm just going to go ahead and measure here and see how long of a piece I need. This is about right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the end of this at a 45 so that I can go ahead and made it up against that wall. And then I'll cut the other end at the opposite 45 so I can go ahead and glue it to the floor. And I think this would be really kind of cool. Now, I'm not sure if these are handholds or something. This looks like a cockpit entry hatch of some sort. So that might be like handholds to get up inside the cockpit for the pilot. I'm not entirely sure, but that's my best guess. With my tweezers, I'm going to hold that piece together, drop a little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin right here on the top. And we're going to go ahead and glue up the bottom. The other side is exactly the same as the previous. I'm just going to go ahead and cut each of those ends at 45s opposite each other so I can go ahead and fit that right into that corner. And we'll drop a few drops of glue, one here at the bottom, one here at the top, and let it do its thing. Should be pretty cool. Then we can weather them down if necessary, maybe chip them a bit with a colored pencil once this dries. I don't know how much use they would actually get, but I think this is looking pretty decent. So we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to get to painting. This is a really really fun project so far guys i'm having a blast with this kit so i've got my ref cockpit green mixed up into my airbrush and i honestly don't know if it's 100 percent correct or not but i'm going to trust my labels and i want to go for it so let's go ahead and airbrush the inside of the fuselage the cockpit so let's go ahead and get on it see what we can do
Now with most of the aircraft green all finished up, I want to go ahead and switch over my paint to flat black. And the flat black is going to be for the control stick, the front of the instrument panel, and then anything else like the little dials and whatnot. So we're going to quick switch our airbrush over to the flat black and we're going to paint up those particular areas. There's not a lot of them, but there's a few. Let's go ahead and get those done. I gotta say, I love Tamiya paint. It just goes on so nicely, and you could thin it with isopropyl alcohol, meaning it's cheaper to thin. So while this is drying, I wanna go ahead and make some seat belts. So let's get on with that. Now the seat belts are gonna be just basic Tamiya tape. I'm gonna cut those into probably maybe a millimeter or two millimeter thick uh, strips, and we're gonna go ahead and just stick them down to the chairs. There's actually two positions. There's a front pilot, and there's a rear observer slash gunner. Now the kit comes with decals for seat belts but I don't really want to use those. I'd rather have something a bit more 3D. These aren't going to really be that noticeable, I don't think, but I would feel better if I had something in there that I actually created. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on for size. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these little strips here, and we're going to stick it down to the chair, and we're going to see how it looks. My references show that each chair has a slightly different arrangement of seat belts and also of seat pads as well. So that we might have to make after we do the seat belts. So let's go ahead and check this and see how these look. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it here on the side of the chair and then we're gonna just fold it over onto the seat of the chair as well. Now from what I understand is the pilots typically sit on their parachutes and the parachutes kind of act as a seat cushion. So I don't think I need to put a seat cushion on this particular chair. My references show that this does not have a seat cushion, but it has a back cushion. We're gonna go ahead and scratch build that out of a paper towel. The rear gunner station actually has a seat pad and not a rear backing pad. Again, I'm just going off of a reference photo that I found of the resin insert that you can buy for this particular kit. Is it 100% correct? I don't know, but it's gonna look the part, so I'm not too concerned. Now the back chair, again, like I said, has a slightly different arrangement in terms of pads that you sit on, but not really for the belts. This is actually a much larger chair than the pilot seat. It's kind of strange how that works out. We've done the exact same thing. We've stuck them down to the back of the chair, folded the lap belts over, and we're looking pretty decent. So let's go ahead and move on to instruments. Now, the front cockpit has several black panels around the right and the left side of the consoles. So I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and I'm going to pick out those colors and we're going to paint all those detailed panels. So let's go ahead and start doing that and let's move this forward and get this thing done. So let's go ahead and move on to the seat cushions. Now I prepared off camera a piece of paper towel that I've colored and painted with a oil wash. And the oil wash is a burnt umber and I believe burnt sienna kind of mixed together and it has this kind of cool leathery look to it. Um, it's pretty close to what I see in the references so I'm gonna be fine with that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of paint here on the pad and that should help to kind of glue it down won't have to put any glue on it really at all so this should be just fine and the belts will fold back over top of that 
and just kind of like that. Of course, they won't fold right now. I'll wait till this dries and I'll come back and I'll glue them down, but they'll each fold over kind of over top of each other. And that hopefully should add a bit of interest to that area. Now for the overall look of it, it looks decent enough. Now for the pilot chair, we have to actually do the opposite. We have to go ahead and put that seat pad on the back of the chair and not on the bottom of the chair. So I'm going to fold these seat belts back and we're going to place one of my paper towels here right on the back. And I think this should be decent enough. We're going to drop a little bit of paint on that, which will help to kind of stick it down and it'll dry, hopefully molded and it'll be fine. Then we can go ahead and fold those seat belts right back over top of that and we should be decent to go. I want to go ahead and before we call it quits for tonight, guys, I wanted to throw a little bit of a wash around the front cockpit area. And I actually have made up my own oil wash using Tester's Rubber and Tester's Flat Black and have mixed it up and it is ready to go. Now I'm applying it actually with an old Tamiya Extra Thin Glue bottle. I got this idea from Tamiya. They have that accent panel color that you can buy and it comes in, I think, a brown color and in a black color. Took an old empty bottle of Tamiya Extra Thin Cement cleaned the crap out of it, made sure that there was no glue left in it. And then I put my wash into that. And I've been using that as a panel wash. It works pretty well. I don't really have a problem with it. And it's a lot cheaper than having to go out and buy a bunch of panel line washes by Tamiya. Though I would love to try that. I just don't really want to spend money on that right now. And we're going to go ahead and call it here, guys. I think this is a good step in the right direction. We've got our inside of our fuselages painted. They're ready to go. Our cockpit is mostly finished up. I think it looks really awesome. And I am going to call it here. Next episode, we're going to come on back. And I'm going to push to try and get this installed in the fuselage. Get the fuselage buttoned up. And see where we go from there. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here next time on Twin Brit. Until then, guys, thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon.